Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, I am your Dungeon Master, All Dragon, and the players are... Hi, I'm David Big Matt Shepherd. I play... Uh, who do I play? I've forgotten. It's been so long. <laughs> I play Brax and Miak, <laughs> a, human my, a human fighter from... I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes this much. A human fighter from Recam's Wedge. Hi everyone, and I come Isema, and I play Solasa Beppa, who is Alf Elven Cleric Mage of Ogma. I'm James, I play Akar, human paladin from Brawl. Hello everyone, I'm Salem Mortar, I play Finalar Mahani, a druid from Grayspace. Hi everyone, I'm Levalisana, and Levalisana Seshasa, an elf and wild mage. Uh, hey there, I'm... Uh... Zach had I play it. I laughed all uh, Moonglade is his his current theme is making up uh, titles, so here it goes nothing. The fiercely finical favorite and friend of the fundamentally far flung Aravan Aravan Illicit. My god, he'll smite me for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a mischief maker, occasionally steal things as a psychic is a thief. Helms from Rail Space and from Event. Hey, I that was, was pretty waiting good. for uh, which word where you're going to uh, uh, trip up, and I didn't expect you to trip up your uh, deity's name. It's because it's a different letter, so it threw me off. Because <laughs> it was like F, F, F. What's that? What do you call it when you keep doing Fs? Or the same Alliteration. Alliteration. Right. Cool. Uh, now no, I'm really waiting just Erevan to mess you up this time. Oh, I'm sure that'll happen with the, the normal uh, uh, mode of the uh, the dice rolling. <laughs> All right, before we get back in, um, the uh, re-rolls that the players have, Braxton has zero, Finn has one, Ocker has zero, Laptal has one, Leva has three, Solus has one, I, the Dungeon Master, have two, and you can uh, give the players a re-roll with 500 bits. So the player of your choice, or me, the Dungeon Master, uh, for just 500 bits. All right, so we left off last time. The uh, party had just wrapped up a, a previous dream, and I'll be pulling them over to the new dream in just a moment. But uh, before uh, doing so, I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I ended last session uh, by telling you what the uh, new dream was uh, looking like, and I'm going to reiterate that uh, for your, uh, as a reminder. Uh, so, the previous dream faded out into a nothingness, and then slowly uh, the scene around you comes back into focus uh, once again, and uh, you find yourself along a well-trodden path in a verdant forest. Uh, immediately, the peacefulness of the scene is belied by the swath of destruction you can see well ahead of you, and there are crashing sounds and screams that you can hear in that general direction as well. Uh, through the trees you can see elves, both warriors and civilians. Some are fighting and others are fleeing. Uh, what they're fighting appear to be small figures that have gross fleshy forms and steel blades sprouting from the ends of their limbs. Further into the trees you can see much larger creatures tossing elves about like ragdolls and something of incredible size uh, crashing about. Uh, near you is a group of archers giving cover fire to a group of elven civilians fleeing towards you. One spots you and says, Get to the south! Those foul abominations have already uh, crushed a dozen villages and are making a push for Meliathra. Get to the defense force there and assist. We'll hold this position. Uh, and as a reminder, the map does have uh, uh, ten-foot squares rather than five-foot squares. Let me go ahead and pull you guys over to that dream. I will join you there as well. Rodents of unusual size? I don't believe they exist. Oh, they're not rodents. They're not rodents. Uh, so you should be... Over they look here. like a fun b bunch. And... I was just expecting you to have one jump me as I said that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and uh, you should be able to... Uh, you should all have vision as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just on the wrong part of the map. I'm just trying to get to myself. Yeah, I can see a few of them. Oh, you know what? That's are. because I'm on the wrong uh, layer. That's why it didn't uh, drag you guys over. Uh -huh. That's better. Um, 
Right. So I'll say to the others, I guess we need to look for, was it Felfiad? Yeah. And we got to fight our yeah. way through. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say is I guess we need to look for Velfiad and see if, is he with this defense force or is he in the village? Because if we run off to the village and he's here and he dies in the dream, he might die in real life. Uh, yeah, well, the elves that, that just uh, spoke to you are expecting you to go to the uh, defense force to the uh, south. Along so, the so let's ask the elf that uh, sp uh, spoke to us, uh, where's Velthiad? Uh, Velthiad is leading that force. Get over there uh, immediately. Okay. And guess... because stuff is uh, like immediately happening, um, uh -huh. anything uh, that you want to do will be done on uh, initiative order. Does he have a rank that's talking to us? Uh, if he does, you're not sure what it is. Oh, it doesn't I... look too much apart from the others. Um, you'd guess that he's in charge of that group, but whether he's a captain or a sergeant or uh, something else, a lieutenant, you know, you can't tell. Holy crap, that's big. Question? Mm-hmm. What's this thing here? Uh, that is a, a big fleshy form that is uh, tossing elves about like ragdolls. Are you talking about uh -huh. this big thing? Nope, she's not talking about that one. I'm pinging it. Yeah. yeah uh, we can all uh, see uh, different ones. I can see something much bigger. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually see Velthiad. I see something Where? very briefly. All the way to the south there. That's what the uh, said so. I don't see. I see something else speak then there. Yeah, I uh, see him all the way in the bottom uh, left corner. How yeah, that's all dark. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Have you forgotten? No, I had to. I was joking. Um, it has uh, been a little bit of time. So oh. it's been a little bit of time. I'm gonna roll oh, for my crossbow. Oh, that is big. Old. Mm -hmm. That might be the biggest thing we've ever fought. Uh, do we need to halve the number that roll twenty? tells us when we do a measurement. No, no the, the squares are 10 feet rather than 5 feet. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, but I just meant if we if we do the auto measurements, does that mean we... No, the measurement's set up correctly. The measurement's set up correctly. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's just that rather than uh, one square is 10 feet rather than two squares being 10 feet. So if you're yeah. moving uh, your full normal movement rate, that's 12 squares rather than 24. Yeah. Is there Ugh. a way that Leva could cast something, could could spellcraft or something f to find out what this thing is? The really big one? Uh, no, you do not know what it is. You need a pattern, what well, actually history, on not it? Because um, this happened in the past, one would assume that any kind of ancient history might apply. I think Leva just faints. <laughs> So, to a certain extent, like, there should be more uh, dense uh, underbrush and stuff like that blocking your views all yeah. that way down there. So, you can just, like, um, anything that you do not have a direct line of sight to or is not, like, immediately near um, your, uh, you know, just around a couple uh, um, trees away from you kind of thing. Um, that's going to be, like, not very easy to uh, identify and, and tell what it is. Mm -hmm. So if I interpret what you just said right, then Leo would see this one, the, the, the one she asked for first. Yeah. She would see this one correct and, and yeah. well, but not the one, not the big one further down. Right. That all you can see is there, there is something big down there, but you can't make out its shape. Okay. There's too much uh, foliage in the way. Yeah. Mm hmm And battle. Let's see. Where could she go? Oh yeah, Sola succeeded on the wisdom check last time. Everything's back to normal, so it's uh, plus three if we if you just move and. Or... Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't have any uh, uh, spell effects on you. Okay. <laughs> Levi is back to being normally slow. Jeez. <laughs> but at least you can move the normal uh, amount of... Oh, I just realized I've been muted for like God knows how long. <laughs> how do I Discord? That should have been the question, not how do I roll 20. Do you have a uh, question? Uh, I did. I for kind of forgotten. Um, can we cast spells in the first round? Yeah, but remember you're not moving. Uh, yeah. All right, anyone still need to roll initiative? We move six squares if we're unencumbered, I assume. No, this, it would be... This 12. The uh, Your movement rate is the number of squares. Oh, so right. if you're moving full movement, it's 12 squares. If it's uh, um, if you're moving to attack, it's six squares for 60 feet, etc., etc. I was sure if this map was rescaled or if I've forgotten. Or... No, I rescale it. Yeah. All right. That's why I was being thrown off, because I wasn't sure if I was misremembering. That's okay. Cool. Uh, Finn, you are up first. I can't quite make hey. the squares out, to be honest. Oh, hold Finn on is changing form into a hawk. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, make the uh, color denser, then. The board is. Yeah. Is that better, Braxton? Uh, you could try changing the grid into black squares to make it e even easier to see. Well, I can I can just change the opacity. I think it works. On it's still green. hard to see. It's still hard to see in the brown areas. Okay. I mean, it's workable. Oh, I can just about see it. Yeah. We sure got no glare. I think Beowulf's happy to. Right. Yeah, Beowulf's not here. That should be good. Okay. I don't. I, I don't always think about uh, that stuff. Uh, all right. So Finn, you uh, turn into a hawk. Uh, you wow. can see uh, these smaller, fleshy uh, uh, creatures that are already engaging uh, with some elves, and uh, their arms seem to end in blades as opposed to them holding blades. And for some of you, uh, they do seem uh, somewhat familiar. And uh, you see an elf just get uh, carved apart uh, Ouch. up here. More of them are uh, rushing forward to attack uh, the elves that are uh, here fleeing. There we go. Uh, and they do seem to be uh, kind of coming along this direction as well. You can you can hear more in the uh, the <clears throat> forests as well. Do they look uh, like they move fast, uh, or uh, are they moving about the same rate uh, that we are? Uh, they are. Uh, they're moving a little bit uh, faster than uh, you would. So they're they're definitely uh, uh, pretty fast. I'm not uh, specifically uh, handling all of their movement, but. Do. Okay. All right. Uh, some of the elves are uh, trying to fight back. Um, but they're also uh, kind of doing uh, They're trying to pull back as much as possible because uh, a lot of these are uh, civilians. As they're going. And you can hear uh, more fighting out in the uh, the forest as well. Braxen, your turn. 
Okay, I guess I guess Braxton's gonna head south. Um, so I can move twelve squares, and twelve squares seems to be one, two, three. Four. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, he would yeah. have indicated like with his hand a bit more. Um, yeah. Southwest okay, rather right. than just straight south, just so you know. Oh right, okay. I have to watch the big one. So you can I can't see, see the big one. You can see that there's uh um like down at the end of the path. Oh, it intersects. I see something here. Uh, right. and there is there is just like there are trees just toppled and torn out by their roots down um at the <clears> end of the path. Uh, oh wow. I think I just saw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know you saw. Uh, um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I could just about make it out. Solas, your turn. Uh, Solas is fleeing, uh, <laughs> tactically repositioning to the south. I should have done a double move, really, but never mind. And before Solas moved, he said that. That uh, the thing that is controlling these dreams are is getting uh, angry. Let's do what we are doing. Uh, I think we are making an effect. All right, Laftal, your turn. I uh, fumbles in the spell pouch, well, coin purse for uh, an electrum coin. Any points? Uh, hang on, let me check my range. Uh, wow. Okay. Um. Arca. <laughs> we... uh, casting battle fit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, 18 rounds. If I can get a track for that, please. Yep. Braxton moved way too far away. <laughs> yeah, Bra Braxton doesn't like having been out of its spell spell cast on him. <laughs> that, that's oh, it's cast... that's it's <laughs> the one time all your clothes fell off. It, yeah, yeah. No, I tried to cast the buffing spells the first round in combat rather than halfway through. Is it my fault that you're too slow? <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice. All right, 18 rounds, you said? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Leva, your turn. Well, Leva is not going to run after the others. She is going to go... Oops. If she can, she would like to move to here. Yes, and use the Wand of Bone Charts. Is that yeah. even going to reach down here? Uh, depends on what you, which one you're uh, targeting. Just a moment. Since she is here, she would, oops, she would uh, sort of target down there. It's got a 60 foot range. 60 foot. Can yep. she go any further than where she is now and still use it? Uh, you can move up to 60 feet and still use it, yeah. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. If this is 10, then she could only come here. Yep, that's about it. Uh, I guess... I guess, I guess, I guess she is not going to use the bond of bone chance then. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you uh, you move up, uh, pulling out, and realize that uh, you just can't get close enough. For the moment, yes, but you can get close enough next time. Okay. And they're probably going to come closer anyway. Uh, Ocker, your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to head uh, over to here. All right. And I have my crossbow ready. Okay. Uh, the uh, elves here uh, that uh, Leva just moved through, uh, they have bows. Seeing you uh, step forward, um, they advance to give you some additional cover while firing their arrows. Um, and uh, the leader says, uh, Get to the south! We'll hold this as well as we can! It is more important that you get to the south. And they're going to fire at uh, these incoming creatures. And they do manage to... No, not that one. Uh, 
I do manage to take out this one. Okay. Uh, but uh, you do see this uh, large one further down the path. And uh, whereas the, the little ones that are about four feet tall, um, they're, they're fast, uh, a bit faster than you. Uh, you know that just uh, at a normal movement rate, they would fairly easily um, outpace you. This thing moves like lightning, and it just rushes the, uh, the line. And it has a, a spiked tail and uh, wicked claws on its arms, and it just slashes into the... Uh, front rank of uh, elves. <clears throat> and the entire front rank gets uh, uh, slaughtered. Oh, wow, it can cleave. Um, it has a... Uh, just like... It, it's so fast. It's It's just like tearing them apart. Well, is this like a windlass, multiple attacks, or hasted? Um, you would say, like, you would expect that to be hasted, but it is just that fast. It does not appear to be, like, magically uh, hasted. <laughs> I don't want this thing to be hasted. Hmm, that's a good idea. I should do that sometime. Afkal, stop giving ideas. So, uh... Uh, Laftal, uh, just to your right, so just to the north, uh, you see a mm. uh, small group of uh, elves, four elves, uh, um, uh, rush in. Uh, they stop and uh, survey what's going on, and then, taking you completely by surprise, they all get larger and uh, chitinous a chitinous shell just starts growing all over their skin. Uh, you have never seen anything like this. They are originally, you know, about your height, and then, uh, but they grow to be uh, well over seven feet tall as this uh, happens. Wouldn't Leva see this as well? Uh, you're looking forward. Mm. Would Finn notice that? Yes, Finn, you would notice that as well. Uh, you are a bird, though. No, I don't think any of us have seen Bionauts. Nope. You may have heard of them, but uh, um, they're legends. There might have been. None of, you, none of you have seen those. When we had the discussion with the Elven Imperial Navy about the, uh, you know, obviously us losing the uh, Spirit Walkers, did they mention anything about Bionauts? Then? No. Yeah. No, they didn't. All right. All right, next round initiative. Uh, you do need to declare if you're uh, running, because you do take uh, uh, armor class penalties. Um, you do? Yeah. I'm st struggling no to see a target near enough to fight. I am going to run this round, so just uh, double move. Yeah, I think I need to run, because I can't see a target. Apart from... Uh, I think I'm running also. The big thing. Uh... Uh... Yeah, I'm probably going to run as well. There's probably no uh, run version of flying, is there? No, not really. But what what you you became a hawk? Yeah. So what's your, what's your like movement? 33. Yeah, see, I mean, like, do you need to run? <laughs> <laughs> you can already fly to where we are running in this round. Well, we should probably come down our way. Yeah, Lara is going to run down south. <laughs> No, oh, that was uh, that was uh, practicing for our. Uh, well, I was going to say dual class ambitions now. Our ba brave battle mage is uh, repositioning. So brave. Seeing that uh, creature just carve up the elves has uh, made uh, Leva realize, hmm, maybe this isn't the best place for me. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. She could have done different things. <laughs> but feeling so lonely at the moment with, with everybody else running away. All right. Anyone still yeah. need to roll initiative? Should have gone. Okay. All right. Solus, you're up first. Mm hmm. Hey. Okay. I'll run to there. Okay. Uh, you do see some individual elves fighting uh, uh, more of these creatures out in the uh, out in the woods, um, and there's mm -hmm. definitely other ones uh, moving about. Oh right, Balthate. And let's see the elves that are here. Oh no. Is that nothing, or is that? That's nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm running anyway, so... It's no penalty, so that's fine. I still don't like it. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but uh, think about this this way. If it had been a result that you couldn't use at all, uh, it would have been even more uh, aggravating. True. All right, so elves are fighting uh, some of these uh, creatures. Um, these elves are uh, fleeing past you, Laftal. There we go. And that one flees as well. Uh, does that giant uh, one look like it has a slug-like skin texture? Uh, something like that, yeah. Yeah, that uh, token just makes me think like All right. it's uh, some kind of... Laftal, your turn. Um, yeah, no, I was running. Um, I'll give you a better to... description of it when you actually like break through some of the trees and can technically see it. Like, right now, I'm you can just see that there is something very, very big out there. I am running to, like, probably down there by the tree. Yeah, you can get there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> no. All right, Lava. Probably poking my head around the corner. Let's see. Can you hear me over the bells? I yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> May it accentuate your voice. Oh no! <laughs> They're tolling for your doom. <clears throat> so how far can you actually run? I I realize I don't know. <laughs> Double movement. What's that? Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four squares. Yeah, two hundred forty feet. Two hundred forty. Uh, let's see, how much is that? Oops. 24 squares, if uh, yes. you use the ruler. That will be down there, okay. Yeah, the expression, oh lordy, he come in, seems appropriate. <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's about right, I think. Yeah, All right. it's, it's a bit a uh, chunky boy. Or a girl. Uh, Braxton, you Give turn? him a belly rub. Okay. I, by my logic, I can get two squares to the right of um, of where Solus is. That's fine. Yeah, that's 24. Yeah, I measured it. <laughs> right, so Brax is going to run that way. He's looking for Velthiad. Because mm -hmm. our, our main mission is to keep Velthiad alive. Not to win his battle and let him die. Okay, these uh, um, I don't seem to see Velthiad yet. Small creatures are uh moving in towards the elves, and I am actually going to just move these uh elven corpses out of the way because they're in the way. So they are uh, advancing up on the uh, rank there. 
some of them seem to have uh, seen your movement, and they are moving down towards you. Let's see. Do, do, do. These two can keep coming in. There we go. All right, uh, the remaining elves up here are uh, fighting back. Uh, they've uh, dropped their bows, pulled out swords, and they are going to do a bit of damage to those in front of them. What's the average elf equipment, as in, like, it's a long sword and shield, or long sword, short sword, or...? Uh, longbow and uh, long sword. And armor. All right. Uh, so, Laftal, um, you, uh, no. you would have thrown a, uh, a glance at the, um, uh, tall creatures that, uh, moments before had been elves, but, uh, uh left, so you wouldn't see this. Um... Finn, however, uh, you are you're just kind of like winging up into the air to, to like what like get above the trees, or are you going to be flying through the trees? Uh, probably flying through, but at the thinner canopy level. Okay, so right now you're probably just exerting a lot of effort to get the height that you need, um, and you can see these uh, uh, these four things that were once elves, they rush forward to uh, join the other elves, and they are not wielding weapons, but you see them start punching, and they've got long blades off their elbows, and they slash with those, uh, and performing kicks, all in rapid succession, and they start easily tearing through these... Uh, these creatures. Quite impressive. Oh, effective. Like there is, uh, there, there is ichor flying out of these uh, creatures. <laughs> All right, and it's your turn, Finn. Yeah, with that, I'm going to fly to there. Uh, okay. All right, Ocker, your turn. Okay. Uh. Were you running? I'm running to here. Okay. Just to there. Oh, I can move further. Uh, yeah. If you were running, running, it's still a... squares. If, if you were running, running, it's double split. movement. Yeah. Oh, then do they are right next to Solus? Okay. All right. Go ahead and uh, roll some more initiative, please. Okay. Uh, oh, am I close enough to be able to hit? I mean, you could do uh, normal movement and uh, just kind of find a position kind of thing. You guys are probably close enough that uh, upon moving you'll start seeing what's going on as you break through those trees ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go back to the X again. And that will also mean that uh, you won't really see the... I'll, I'll be, like, ignoring what's going on uh, at the back at this point as well, because uh, that won't matter as much. It fades into the dream fog. Could, um... No, nah, it's could just Braxton... too far away for you to even know what's going on, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> could Braxton see that those creatures were helping the elves? No. Oh, you didn't even see the creatures. Yeah. Oh, okay. All 
Okay. Anyone still need to roll initiative? Oh, it's, yeah, sorry. Uh, How did I get uh, such a good roll? <clears throat> <laughs> right. Oh, I can remember the battle fight. Oh, I never roll that good. What's up? That's... Why isn't that? My fingers aren't working. <laughs> Are you clicked on your token? Oh, there we go. No, this is laggy. Okay. You can talk to your doctor after the show. You might prescribe some blue tablets. <laughs> okay, Braxton. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... I haven't seen Vilthiad yet, so... I'm going to move 120 foot in this direction. Okay. All right, which is that square there. Come on. All right. Okay, so as you are... Uh... Uh, breaking through the underbrush and the uh, the trees, you can see this uh, swath of destruction uh, along the uh, northern uh, path. And uh, ahead of you, you can see a giant slug-like creature. Uh, uh, but it is clearly some sort of eldritch horror as well, because it has uh, pseudopods uh, um, stretching out of its body... Uh, that end in tooth-filled jaws. Uh, and uh, it is uh, quite horrible. And the thing is massive. Does Braxton is... recognize it? No. Is that the thing we saw on the uh, no. crashed Elven Armada? No. Right. Okay. At least it doesn't have eyes everywhere. These things down here are familiar to you. The lar Those... As well as the, the smaller ones. Both of those you've seen before. Right. Oh, were they the bad guys? Mm, those were the things that you've seen, uh, you, that you saw on uh, on that one planet with the uh, uh, Elven Crown base. All oh, the witch like marauders. Mm -hmm. I doubt they are the good guys, uh, Braxen. So, the, uh, the, this massive slug-like creature is... Well, well over a hundred feet long, and it is just completely massive. Mm -hmm. um, it has uh, clearly uh, temporarily paused its uh, uh, path, you know, its, its forward momentum to deal with these uh, all these elves, uh, and you can see elves facing off against uh, the smaller creatures uh, all around it. And it is just like there there are elven bodies strewn all along the path all around it and everything like that. Laftal, your turn. Uh Laftal continues his uh exercise in the uh Ferdent Forest. <laughs> and he is moving Laftal frolicking through the forest. If it makes me move faster, sure. <laughs> Okay. And uh let's see, Laftal and uh Braxen. You can see um for Braxen, he's just seen these uh uh kind of seven to nine feet tall um a carapace covered uh, creatures rushing up to assist the elves. So you do not uh, know what the heck they are, but uh, Laftal, you have seen these. But you just saw them so, change from elves, so you know what they are. Would would this be one of the carapace covered no, creatures? They just oh no, right those here. ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Okay. I was just uh, revealing the tokens, and I need to reveal some here. Cool. There we go. So they've just joined the fight. Ocker, your turn. Okay. Uh, move to there. Is uh, this out of the reach of my crossbow? Uh, what's the range on your crossbow? 
It's not going to be out of range, but uh, the question is whether it'll be 6, at long range. 6, 12, 18. Um, all right. So, so that... roll battle fate. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get that roll. Uh, okay. That is still within short range. Okay. So, I'm going... Oh, wait. Lucky opening doesn't even apply to this, does it? Because I can only attack once with a crossbow. Yeah. Well, that was a waste, but I'll shoot at it with a plus two bolt. Okay. You get the plus really three thing. to damage uh, all the time. You can... Uh, six is the... Six yeah. is lucky opening. It gets me an extra attack at the end of the round, but that doesn't apply here. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it's only for that attack as well. Yeah, so it's useless. Wouldn't it... Hmm. No, it only applies to melee. Oh. That go with this weapon is 10. All right. Um, that, uh, you see your uh, bolt uh, fly out and uh, bounce off the rubbery hide of this uh, massive slug-like creature. That was a plus two bolt, by the way. Yep. Okay. Might not have just hit well enough. Solus, your turn. I will be moving here. Okay. All right, Leva. After that frightening experience at the top, Leva decides that it's uh, <laughs> better to be prepared, so she casts mirror image. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Level variation. Yep, I'm doing that right now. Uh, level plus two. No bad. What's that? That's okay. That's plus four. So here, oh, a, uh... What's the maximum? What's the maximum? I th no, that's uh, that was. I think you can have a maximum of eight images. Yes, maximum eight. Yeah. So that is eight. Is eight. that with or without uh, the original? Uh, it's eight plus you, so nine. The you know no, they have bad. one in nine chance of hitting you. No so. bad. I think that's the first time that it's that many. Okay. Uh, you hear a scream to your uh, to the north leva as uh, an elf gets uh, cut down right up here. Mm. And let's see. It's... And uh, two more of those uh, small four-foot-tall creatures are closing in on you. Okay. All right. So uh, elves are fighting down to the south. Um, you hear a... Uh, uh, actually, no, he's not close enough. Never mind. Uh, Finn, your turn. Oh, okay, Finn, yeah. Finn's just going to keep on flying. Okay. And I figured out he can go to about here. And just kind of take in what's going on underneath as he flies over. Okay, where, where did you go? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, forgot, uh, for, forgot when thinking about spell uh, range uh, that... Uh, Tiles were this, this time 10 feet, mm -hmm. not 5. All right, five. so, um, Finn, you uh, you fly over. Uh, you can see a, uh, a group of uh, elves advancing down here. Um, can you see uh, this figure right here, Finn? Or 
or my pinging I've darkness. I've been right? able to see him for a few rounds. Yes, I can see him. Okay, so you can recognize that Velthiad is uh, um, behind that group, uh, uh, advancing with them. Okay, and, and then you see the uh, uh, these larger, uh, and these larger ones are. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo, how tall are they? Uh, they're twenty feet tall. These uh, so you got four foot tall ones, twenty foot tall ones, and then this gigantic slug creature. And it is just carving through these uh, these elves here. I think Slug needs to be called Bob. <laughs> slug is not going to be called Bob. <laughs> I like to downplay the Slug called Bob and aggravate him. I mean, you can, you can on, call him Bob to his face if you want. Um, Come on, that uh, Slug is clearly a Steve. You, you might you might not have a face after that, but, you know, I mean, it's a small price to pay to uh, to anger a... Uh, multi-hundred foot long uh, giant slug with uh, uh, vicious looking pseudopods uh, coming off of it that are tearing into elves left and right, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see. How high would you say you are, uh, Finn? Um, I would definitely be well up out of reach of most things. Okay. <laughs> but not above the trees, correct? Right. Okay. All right. Uh, so as this giant uh, slug creature is tearing at these uh, elves that have uh, foolishly gotten too close uh, to it, uh, it seems to have gone after them. Um, pseudopods are street like just striking out at these elves. Um, and all of a sudden, you hear kind of a sucking sound and um, a burst of sickly green uh, gas uh, just spurts out of pores all over its body. Uh, and uh, every single one of these elves that was not getting uh, chewed up by the pseudopods with teeth uh, start choking and gagging and dying. And Finn, you are close enough to breathe some of that in. And you take four points of damage. It's extremely caustic on your lungs. No save? Nope. Is that a gas or an acid? Uh, an acidic gas. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> My resist acidic corrosion might help. Are, are you sure it's not a gaseous acid? Um, you know, it could be a gaseous acid. Uh, might be an acidic gas. Um, it could just have been that uh, he he went to Taco Bell yesterday. I don't know. Taco okay. Elf. <clears throat> All right. Uh, next round. Go ahead and roll for some initiative. Well, I, I guess X again. Perhaps I was going to try casting a spell. You know, that's what will happen. Come on. I mean, right, it might do I go for the? Do I go for the big thing with the dissolvy gas? Or Sorry, bro. Think... you can leech life back. You know, you can lose your face. Just get like plastic surgery instantly back on <laughs> or something. You know, what's the worst that could happen? It's not expression. Usually, but... usually the yeah. prudent strategy is to take out the uh, little distractions first. Oh yeah, and old was criticizing us when the beholder of that death tyrant was just like stoning us and firing its beams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, technically, I can just get to it, but I can also get to this. Keep some elves alive. Maybe. <laughs> they might all be dead by the time I get there. Well, it's just a dream, so. Yeah. They're Im imaginary elves. Uh, did did my role on the initiative go through? I think so. Alright, anyone because still need to roll I, initiative? 
uh, I'm just double checking. Again, if you haven't. What? Battle fate. Oh, right. Do you want me to cast that on you? Sorry, I keep forgetting. Oh, that's great, because I'm using a melee weapon this time. All right. Uh, if anyone wants to charge, remember that that is uh, um, a separate thing. Like that, that does apply uh, modify your initiative. Yeah, I think I can get to this big thing without charging. Okay. All right. Anyone uh, still need to roll initiative? Okay, Finn, your turn. All right. Um, since I can see where he is, I'm just going to go land next to Velthia and right. start changing form back. Okay. All right. Helps if I am on the right thing. Okay, over here. Can you heal only next round or this round? Uh... Bottom change healing. Well, technically, it's a full round action to change, so I have to wait till next round. Yeah. Okay. Hey, good news is that you might take more damage in the meantime, you know? Yeah? That's good news, right? <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right. So uh, the uh, smaller creatures are advancing on the elves and attacking. That is one elf dead over here. That is a one elf dead over here. Uh, these are attacking the uh, humanoid, uh, the insectoid humanoid thingies. And that is just one hit. Six points of damage on that one. And seven points of damage on that one. And over here, they're doing the same thing. All right, that one misses, and the other one is going to do seven points of damage right there. Okay. And then that elf is slain. Okay, and you have some more uh, coming towards you guys. Let's see. At least Biomulf is giving us a moral support. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Be quiet, dog. All right, Leva. Three of them have advanced up towards you and are attacking. They're slashing at you with uh, three claws. Uh, Oof. Two. I'm sorry. Two sword-like arms and trying to bite you. So the first one. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, you ask questions? I don't know. Just a second. Uh, armor class, armor class, armor class. Is that zero? Are you, are you running or casting a spell? Not going to be zero. Armor, um, armor, um, armor, um, armor, um, armor, um, um, chameleon. <laughs> Why is there zero in AC? I don't know. You got brace as a protection, haven't you? Let me see. Yes. Well, you... if it's uh, if I'm surprised, it's meant to be uh, ten. So what would that be otherwise? Anyway, do uh, you have to figure out first who who is actually hit? Since there are nine. Yeah, but I need to know around. what your armor class is so I can I can roll against it. Oh. oh. All right, hold on a second. I'm pretty sure zero is not correct. Do you have uh, you have a set of bracers, right? Yes. 
Okay. Earrings were destroyed. That's what I was looking for. It says eight because of the braces. In a robe. I think you'll see another one, doesn't it? Hmm? You might have an armor class of seven. And what rings did you bring with you? Yeah, the, the earrings are destroyed. There are no earrings anymore. What rings do you have? Uh, the braces I have with me. I have the, ex the ring that extends things. And what's the other one I have? The ice shard one or something else? I took the ring of ice bolt, uh, the ice bolt, and the and the one that extends the range. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, bracers AC eight. Um, the robe gives you a bonus to saving throws. Does not give you a. Uh, bonus to armor class. So that is eight. All right. Uh, let's see. So that is... Get back to that. All right. Uh, so the first one uh, completely misses you. Doesn't okay. even hit any Sounds of your images. Sounds good. Second one... Uh, that is going to be two potential hits. Um, what, uh, uh, give me a number from one to nine, please. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Lose an image. Give me a number from one to eight. Oh, eight. Lose second image. Oh, okay. And the third one. Uh, one hit, so a number from one to seven, please. Six. You lose another image. Okay, so that's three less nine. All right. Uh, Braxen, your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Braxen probably should go for the big slug, but he's going to go for this thing. Um, these are these things here are bushes, aren't they? Yeah. We need to go around. Don't worry too much about it. Okay. I'm going to go to here. And I'm... Wait. Stay there. It's definitely a curse from laughter as you run away from him. Can I, can I clobber that one? You can only go to uh, these two squares. Sorry? You can only go to the two squares. Uh, oh, okay. Right? Yeah, you can only go to 60. Yeah, 60, 60 in attack. attack. Not 70. Oh. Okay, sorry. I'll go there then. Okay. Um, and I got a seven, which is probably a miss because my seco is 11. Uh, that is a miss, yes. All right, Leva, your turn. Leva is calculating. She was going to move over here and 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 use the 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 wand of bone chance. But now, if she does that, she's up for attacks of opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Now, can she work her way around this one here? Sort of go like this. Oops. Let's say this, this, this. And how would she end up? Like here? How many attacks would that provoke? All of them. Yeah, you want to stay at least there. You would have to way. stay in contact with one of them to prevent one attack of opportunity. Yeah. The best scenario, you just take the one hit and get all three. Uh, she couldn't go through, so she would have to go around. Oh, yeah. Two, because you left the range. 
Yeah, if you want to so get if you want to get all three with the uh, bone shards, then you're going to take at least two uh, attacks of opportunity from two of them. And all right. You have three but... attacks each. Do they get on their full roster? Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not iterative. Iterative attacks. Uh. Well, she what she can do is forego one and just try and get these two, correct? This one and this one. Uh, the problem is, is that it's, uh, the bone shards create a cone. Uh, with mm -hmm. that close, you can basically only get one of them. Mm. Yeah, if you wanted to get all three, you would have to go behind this one, I think. Even two of or them, even two. even two of them, you'd need to be in, in basically a straight line. This close. Would she get all three if she was here? She could, yeah, yeah that's that still could be, nine attacks. Angled, yeah. Or actually six. Yeah, she would get the... Uh, if no one attacks. saves her, if she doesn't kill them. But I do need you to decide pretty quick. Wait. I mean, if you're moving away from those two, you might as well uh, position yourself to get uh, um, all three of them. Yeah, all three. Either that or... Yes, uh, I, I actually asked a question, but I, I was <laughs> muted. <laughs> okay. It helps if you unmute yourself. Right, my question was at the, at the time, uh, if I move around here like this, and then I move here. No, here. Uh, then I would get a tax of opportunity from, from from the two I move away, but not from this one, correct? Correct, yeah. All right, then let's do that. Okay. My right. images. How many images do you have left? Five. Okay, so uh, pick a number from one to six. Pick a number from one to six, please. Oh, three. Sorry. All right, lose another image. And mm -hmm. a number from one to five. Ah, uh, two. Okay, that is going to be a hit. Ow, ow. For six points of damage. So the first one manages to bite you as you uh, move away from it. But uh, uh, the other one... Okay, so uh, that is a uh, number from one to five, please. Wait, we had one. Was, isn't it four now? Anyway, one to five. Uh, two again. All right, you lose another image. Number from one to four. One. All right, and it hits you again. Okay. Bites you again for 10 points of damage. Oof. Ouch. Let me see. That, that's now how many? That's now three. Yeah. Well, they lasted. They helped. They definitely did help. <laughs> they definitely did help. <laughs> so, but now Lema takes, takes a wand and she... She blasts all of them. What was it? It was uh, 64 or something? Yep. 64. Yeah, could be worse. Okay, so uh, bone shards uh, fly out of your wand, tearing into these creatures. Uh, this one is still alive, but, uh, Iker is dripping everywhere. This one is torn apart and, uh, collapses down to the ground dead. And, uh, this one in front of you is still alive. I was just, help! <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Let's see. Get, uh... Elven bodies out of the way here. Just know that there's elven bodies everywhere, basically. Yeah, Alaftal's not adding himself to the pile. 
Oh. You say that now, but oh, but that's that's <laughs> fun. Why why don't you want to be piled? You've killed me off plenty of times. <laughs> killed the other party members off. Ha have I really killed you off plenty of times? I feel like I haven't killed you plenty of times. Just I just feel like I need to do more. Besides, uh, has it been think... old or has it been uh, Erevan? Uh, I actually think Leva died more than you did, Laftal. Laftal. Have you? Uh, I've died four times, I think. Well, not a yeah, actually dying, no. But um, three times I went unconscious to the point of dying. Has... So, so... Solas has that perfect number of uh, amount of numbers of times, and he intends to keep it at that. Ha has Laftal considered how amused his deity would be if he looted all the corpses, and then the money disappeared? I don't know if um, he could have, if he can even see this in a dream snake. I mean, he's a god, but you know. Oh, don't worry, he can. He can no. see what you do. He knows if you've been naughty or nice. <laughs> yeah, he knows. When... <laughs> there's, there's no escaping even in it. Someone else is here. Santa, Santa Claus with all army of elves to know if you're naughty or nice. I would right. put it past him, actually. To do uh, like Braxen and uh, Finn. Uh, mostly Finn, because uh, Finn, you're right next to him. Um, Finn, you're uh -huh. transforming back to your uh, uh, normal form, uh, and you can see uh, Velthiad uh, chanting, um, thrusts his arms forward, and a bolt of lightning blasts out at this enormous uh, slug-like creature. And let me give it saving throw. Do do. All right, so that is going to be All right, 20 points of damage. All right, Laftal, your turn. Oh, he was cast. Be. Yeah, I was casting a spell on Braxton, but he's now redirecting the spell onto himself, <laughs> casting the second battle fate on myself now. What's the range on that? Twenty yards. That's sixty he's feet. Out of the yeah, he's still more than sixty feet now. Isn't oh he? yeah, he's eighty. You're right. Never mind. Yeah, so that's why I'm casting on myself. Okay. When you said what's the range on that, I'm like, well, I'm sure he's close enough to himself to cast a spell on the shelf. No, no, I was just wondering if uh, um, if it was really that short range. I didn't realize it was quite that short. Yep. It's a downside of the spell. So, yes, another... If I get the track of rates in rounds, please. Sure. Uh, oh, that might be useful. Uh, if I can remember how the hell free rolls. Uh, saving throw. That might be useful. You just got to go uh, put yourself into a position where uh, where saving throw is useful, you know? All right. 18 rounds. Okay. All right. Uh, Leva... One of those uh, tall figures uh, um, comes rushing out of the uh, the underbrush and uh, just absolutely demolishes this uh, thing in front of you, uh, punching, slashing, and kicking until it is dead. Um, they floats. Well <clears throat> done. <laughs> and. Uh, it says, uh, almost through a, uh, like, as if something was covering its mouth. I'll take care of this. Get, get to the south. All right. Okay. And then down here. Our brave battle wizard was saved to fight another day. Imagine well, if Lava couldn't speak Elvish. <laughs> like at the start of the game. 
think we can speak Elvish in the dreams. I don't know. Well, she can speak Elvish now, but she couldn't before. That's why I was remarking it would be funny. Because you're an elf. Mm-hmm. Okay. That one gets uh, utterly demolished by uh, one of these uh, creatures. So does that one there. These move up to attack the same one that uh, Braxton is attacking. <clears throat> wow, my dice are just rolling awful for these these guys. Uh, that is going to be. One on the, uh, single on the big, sorry. Sorry, just one single hit. It was just ridiculous. On the big guy. Six points of damage from this one. What were you saying, Braxton? Um, on the big thing, mm -hmm. is it, are there different areas that we can attack, or is it just one thing? Um... I mean, if you want to do called shots, you can do called shots. It's got... It's got eye stalks. It's got uh, uh, pseudopods with mouths on it. Um, beyond that, you're not too sure. It's it's kind of um, yeah uh, undifferentiated in a lot of ways. All right, cool. All right, so that is that. Is... I suspect it might be hard enough to hit as it is, though. Yeah, I mean, it has. It, you can you can tell that it pretty clearly has very thick, rubbery skin. So that that's going to be uh, very much like resistant to your your attacks. Like that's kind of mm. obvious. Uh, it... Bludgeoning wouldn't do too well against that. Piercing might be best. Mm, Marker did shoot at it. Uh, right, just so about hit. Ten points of damage. Right there. Uh, these guys are. Considering the size of it, I think uh, you might need something bigger to pierce it than just uh, bolts. I mean, it's like getting stabbed by a toothpick. Less needle, maybe. Okay. Uh, then uh, the uh, elves with uh, Valthiad unleash uh, uh, Hail of Arrows on this giant thing. And um, those arrows do not seem to be doing a whole lot to it. All right, Ocker, your turn. Are you muted? Charging's a thing in this edition, right? I'm sorry? Charging. Uh, yeah, but you didn't... De did you declare it? Because it affects your... Oh, no, energy. I didn't. Yeah. There, then, there is a guy then, right right behind you rushing towards you. Then I'll move over to this guy and start beating on him with my sword. Okay. Yeah, you had to have to declare it if you're charging. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a miss, I believe. What does your Thacko? Even Thacko's eight. Yep, that's a miss. All right, Solus. Luckily, I'm going to have three attacks this round. Oh, that's handy. Uh, I'm continuing uh, to move. Uh, let's see. I need to measure it again. I forgot where I can move. I'm just moving to there. Okay, rush by the uh, front lines. Mm-hmm. Okay, and... Uh... Not doing anything uh, on the uh, process? The uh, process? No, I moved the maximum amount. Okay. All right. Uh, Braxen, the uh, the twenty foot tall uh, creature in front of you. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it is not turning to face you, but it does swing its tail at you. <laughs> Uh, 
And that is a hit. Damn. So Braxton couldn't jump over the tail. No, it's a, uh, a big ol' spiked tail. And you suffer 10 points of damage from that. 10 points. Wow. Uh, and it starts uh, carving up the uh, elves in front of it. Yeah. And then you hear a sizzling sound as a uh, spurt of acid sprays from its front. Since it's fa since you're facing its back, um, it's uh, uh, you can't see exactly uh, where that's coming from, but it does uh, hit this guy right here. For oh, good. 13 points of damage. Alright, and then these elves over here are getting uh, slaughtered. When comes forward, slaughters these elves. Tell you what, Laftal's going through some emotional turmoil about his decisions. He wants to join the Elven Imperial Navy. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, he feels like really bad, and sometimes it's like, oh, I'm glad I don't have to deal with it. He's kind of like <laughs> undecided. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's uh. Oh, I'm having a great time. Wow. Oh, just wait, just wait. All right. Um. So you can you you guys hear a, a sound from the uh, southern uh, like from along that southern uh, route, and all of a sudden, a winged, large winged insect-like uh, figure comes flying in, and. Heading over here, lands and attacks one of the uh, 20-foot tall marauders. Oh, fun. And yes, We're going full anime now. You do recognize uh, uh, that as a spirit warrior. Right, because we fought one. Uh, yeah, and you did see uh, it's had more. the others. The yeah. ones that were in the barge? Yeah, but we... We misplaced. Yeah, it's going full of mega anime now. This is great. All right. Let's go ahead and move these guys to the back. Now, the giant slug like thing starts crashing through the trees and it is positioning itself to attack both this figure and this figure there um, and uh, pseudopods uh, slash out at it at each of them and let's see all right that is going to be one hit I believe what is this armor class oh yeah well, yeah, just one hit. That's good. Are there any telltale signs that it doesn't like sunlight? Uh, it's a bright sunny day. So it doesn't seem entirely phased at all? It does not seem phased at all, no. Alright. All right. Wearing uh, his sunglasses. So, Ocker, you're getting uh, extra attacks? Yeah, I do. Okay, and Braxton, are you getting an extra attack as well? Uh, No, I did one... One attack, so next round I'll get two attacks. Okay. So that goes eight for that attack. That is it. And I'll roll the next attack before I roll damage. Okay. This one gets a plus three, I believe, from Balfate. Oh, hit all damage you got to clear before you roll. Uh I'll so... put it I'll put in the damage. Okay. It was six to the eight hits. Yep. 
So two hits. Is this large or medium? No, it's four feet tall. So it's small. Okay, so it's still medium damage. Because there isn't a small damage category. So first hit. Second hit. Seven and a ten. Okay, you uh, do chop up that uh, small uh, creature. All right, next round, go ahead and start rolling initiative. I'll roll initiative. Problem. I'll roll this. Uh, what do I have to roll if I'm going to charge? <clears throat> uh, give me a second. Well, let me that. measure to see if I can even make it in a charge. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, so you get 150% movement, and you can attack at the end of that. Uh, you do not get bonus attack, like, extra attacks at the end of the round. You're gonna charge straight through me, because I'm casting a spell. It's okay. Then I'll charge, this, a... I'll charge this one over here, so I don't charge through you. Uh, these are 10 feet square, so I think you would be able to move, uh, through the same square. So you get a minus two a bonus to initiative, and yeah, it's 10 foot square, don't worry too much about it. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at a cast. So your your uh, initiative is too better than uh, it would normally be. You do lose uh, dexterity, armor class penalties, and you suffer uh, a pen an additional penalty of one armor class. Okay. And I'm going to roll Belfe right now. Four. What is... Uh, four is... Uh, accuracy enhanced. Yeah, that's pretty good. We. So anything other than a one, you'll likely hit. When the fight gets big, Praxen's initiative always starts to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I got four, and I was not within range of anything. And now, actually, the, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not going to charge yet. I'm going to drink my potion of fire giant strength this turn instead. Okay. Well, I can still idea. change my initiative. So that would make that 978. And this will also tell me if uh, potions also get refreshed between dream events. They did. So Fen got his back. Yeah, so gonna drink the potion of fire giant strength to increase my odds against the big slug. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a thought of me just blasting this creature in, like turn after turn with my wand, but it's like. Mm. I mean, you could. You could if you want. It's going to kill me on the inside of it if I'm using up charges, but at the end of the day, I don't know. Depends how bad we're in. Okay. Right back. Anyone still need to roll initiative? I'm good. All right. Okay. Solus, your turn. <clears throat> Well, it's time to summon, summon some allies to the field. Okay. The <laughs> same goblins. <laughs> now this is the monster summoning three. So it it's going to have a better creatures. I just need to remind myself what that five summons. I doubt it was the crabs again. I think that might be centipedes. Oh, that's yeah, pretty good. This is when you delay the Marauder by it needing to spend three rounds eating your creatures. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be a great result. <laughs> Generally, yeah. Uh, yeah, Centipede Megalo. Okay, uh, 1d4? Uh, yeah, 1d4. Come on, lucky four. You need to summon dire porcupines. Dang it. One. Okay. Lever, I didn't even say anything. Had uh, no you probably were thinking in the background. You probably yeah, I was were thinking. thinking. Uh, it, it goes there to help the elf to fight against that uh, slug. Okay. Uh, go ahead uh, and uh, roll an attack roll. How many does it get? Uh, one attack. Only one. Mm hmm. Oh. That's wow. a miss. These elves yeah. are wearing are wearing that fancy guy armor stuff. 
So the reason that uh, the reason why uh, it only gets uh, uh, one attack is uh, that it also has poison. Yeah, it's got uh, low fackle though. That's good though uh, if it's got poison. We yeah, fought them on the dwarven citadel. Okay, Ocker, your turn. I'm going to advance to like here and drink a potion of fire giant strength. Okay. Uh, that will give you a, uh, a strength of uh, 20. Oh, it's a great way to find out if we got curse potions. <laughs> is it, though? I mean... Actually, is it 20? Hold on a second. It might be 21. Or is it 22? Fire Hold on. Giant. Um, it's 22. 22! Okay. There you go. Yeah. Oh! Right, 20 is uh, Stone Giant. My bad. Thank goodness. I get it's a good thing I'm testing this out in the dreamscape. Well, that's an extra ten damage each time I hit. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Potions of fire giant strength. I mean potions of giant strength in general. Pretty spiffy. Pretty spiffy. And this one is reasonable right now. You know, frost giant's twenty three, isn't it? Uh no, frost giant is twenty one. Uh, Cloud Almost Giant is 20. 23, oh, Storm God. Giant is 24. I just, I basically had a Popeye si a situation where I got buff from drinking something, or eating something. Okay, and uh, let's see, one of these uh, little guys is attacking the Spirit Warrior. You got Tragic Carousel, maybe. I'm sorry? I have yeah, the... a Tragic Carousel potion, yes. I was wondering if you brought it with me. I did not. I did bring uh, a potion of superheroism. Alright, four points of damage. Why, did you want the Tragic Heroism potion? No. I just thought it was funny if you drank this Tragic Heroism and the creature just started going for you. <laughs> Are you trying to curse Okar? No. I think he is. Laftal, your turn. Uh, I'm casting Chaos Ward on myself. I am buffing myself. Okay. While everyone dies around me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are a uh, lot of elves who have died, yes. This is this is accurate. Uh, that's the same duration, 18 rounds. Alright, so it, it'll, just, it'll just last uh, the following round from the battle fate. That's fine. Uh, uh, Finn, your turn. So Finn is going to <clears throat> finish changing back and give a quick summary of what he saw on the way over to Valtheod. Okay. And Specifically positions of enemies and the gas cloud of the creature. Okay. He would have seen the gas cloud, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, and the effects it had on the elves that were hit by it. Gotcha. Um, all right. And you also uh, heal a little bit? Yep. Okay. 10%. Yay, it's so probably going to be point. one. Yeah. I mean, at least you always heal at least one. <laughs> there is that. Yeah. All right, Leva, your turn. Well, you see, three Levas run down here. Okay, and I did forgot forget to uh, have the... Uh, this guy attacked the, uh... You. Bionoid. There we go. Not you. Don't worry. And she's now standing in front of Laftor. All right. And then she looks ahead and goes... <gasps> All right, a whole bunch of uh, levers appear near you, uh, Laftor. Laftor's like, eh. Laftor's just looking around at the multiple levers, not knowing which one's real. There's only three of them. Well, actually, there's only four of them. Yeah, three. There are three copies of what normal Leva, but you don't know which one is which. Mm. They all wave at Laftal. Yeah, I would say something funny, but it's not my turn, so... Alright. <laughs> that must be drunk. There's so Hang many on. Levas. <clears throat> Do we have to roll initiative for our bad jokes now? Uh, no, yeah, and if you, was... if, you uh, if, if someone attacks you first, it disrupts your, uh, your bad joke and you can't tell it. All right. Uh, the spirit warrior over on the uh, 
left side of the battlefield is attacking the uh, small marauder for 11 points of damage. All right, Braxton, your turn. Okay. Um, Braxton is... He gets two round attacks this round. Wee. Um, he's going to try to clobber this guy in front of him. Okay. Uh, that might be a hit. That's a hit. Sacco is 11. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I get... Should have done the damage in advance, just in case. Uh, D8 plus 5. Oh, the good thing about this weapon is it's D8 plus 5 regardless of the size. Oh, I've done D88 plus 5. <laughs> Stupid. Right. It's a little Let's too high. Yes. Yeah, it's a little too high. Channeling the power D of Pata. A little bit too high. Come on. Give me one eight. I do wonder if what? there are potions that work in the opposite way from... Uh, that work in a similar way to potions of giant strength, but they work on other stats. Uh, Not very many. It would be cool if there was one that was like a potion that boosts dexterity for Lathal. Uh, there, I mean, there, there, there are, but they, they, it's not quite like a giant strength. It's usually like, um, uh, there is. There, there's some that will um, give you a like plus four bonus to intelligence or wisdom or constitution or something like that. <laughs> so that is twelve points of damage, Braxen. You mm -hmm. chop into it uh, for twelve points of damage. Yeah. Oh, and I get some back. Uh, yes, you do. Do I get six I, back? I, I uh, yes. Mind drinking, I wouldn't mind drinking a plus four to intelligence or wisdom potion and have its effect turn permanent. Yeah, see, you know, you just uh, you got to take that uh, that risk and uh, constantly drink potions and um, at the same time and, you know, just be like, well, if it blows out my stomach, it blows out my stomach, but that small chance for a permanent stat gain, you know? I mean, I would just loan a... Ring of Regeneration from Lapa. Can, can we not throw all our potions into the mouth of the witch like Marauder and hope that it explodes? You could try that. You could try that. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to give it, like, giant strength and uh, uh, healing and stuff <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, this uh, Bionoid attacks the Marauder uh, for... Where's my die? There it is. Uh, it hits for three points of damage. Whole whopping three points of damage. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, if it this bleeds, guy you can kill it. Does uh, spray a little bit of uh, ichor around? Yeah. All right. Question. Yep. Is this this thing here, uh, beside the big one, is that an insect? Uh, yeah, it's a centipede that is uh, uh, what uh, it's my best summoned. Oh, oh, good. Thank you. Are we rolling initiative? No. All right. Uh, okay, so this guy is attacking the one in front of uh, Braxton. He gets four hits, so that's pretty good, and I think that's going to kill it pretty easily. That thing is dead. So you see uh, the Bionoid um, uh, punch, hey. slash, and then kick this thing to death. Uh, that is uh, over twice its height. Uh, then the other two advance up to attack the Marauder. Yeah, hopefully I can do that with my secondary attack as well. You'd think there'd be more clerics or wizards. The Elven army. Maybe they've already. Yeah, got it's eaten. almost as if I didn't want to keep track of all those spells. <laughs> you gotta get the DM. A, you gotta get the DM a break. Also, they <laughs> might be busy in other places. Yeah, this isn't I, the only battlefield. I started sure off in my own game having a NPC cleric with the party, while also bouncing all the monsters. He's running a whole lot more than I would. Yeah, I, I tend oh. to bite off more than I can chew, really. Obviously, yeah. obviously, Velfiad is remembering all the soldiers that died rather than the wizards that didn't die. 
Also this, also, this clearly is the least important part of the battlefield at the moment, so all the wizards and clerics uh, are uh, in more important parts. Sure. Yeah, I go with that. That's fine. Alright, and that is going to be... There we go. Alright. Alright, now it is the... Uh, secondary Marauder's turn, and that guy is going to be killed from that. Just make things easier. That one is dead. And... Plus, on top of all of that, these things have a lot of hit points. It, I mean, uh, a lot of attacks, so... It's a lot. All right, so uh, Veltiad uh, um, is, uh, he's been shouting orders, uh, turns to you, Finn, and says, uh, nodding to uh, what you've said, and um, then says, uh, 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 Good, I'm glad that the Bionoids have appeared up north. Uh, they should... Uh, Allow the civilians to uh, flee. If we can hold out here until more of the spirit warriors come up, then we should be able to defeat this thing uh, once and for all. We just need to keep it at bay for a little bit longer. And he uh, launches his uh, an arrow at it and misses. <laughs> the arrow bounces off of it. Uh, the elves... Let's see front of him are firing arrows and their arrows are having very little effect. But now it is the giant slug's turn. Uh, so first, um, another cloud of noxious gas uh, rolls out from it. And let's see, Braxen, you are going to take uh, four points of damage. Okay, uh, got quite a range on it, huh? 40 at least. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we can't save versus fart. And I need to double check to see something else. Give me just a second. I suppose the good thing is if Braxton hits the uh, big slug, if he can move that far for his second attack, he should get back half the damage. Because it must have lots of lots of hit points to harvest. Yeah, yeah. The question is whether you can keep up with its da the damage it's going to deal on you. Mm. So yeah, helps to dual wield in this case. <clears throat> well, if only Braxton had another axe and could fight well, with two axes. weapons, but you know, you take the hit. <laughs> yeah, do minus two on one. Yeah, yeah, more than that, it's huge for you, isn't it? That's what I thought. All right, uh, Solus. Yeah. Uh, your pet. Uh, yeah. Dies. No, my pet. Uh, that uh, poison cloud rolls over it, uh, and it just like uh, wriggles and then curls up and then vanishes. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I want to do this. Now this this is personal. Now it's personal, huh? Mm hmm. Now it's personal. It's summon Hero Goblin and make all the elves attack Hero Goblin. And all the uh, Bionoids are taking damage as well. There we go. Okay. And. Uh, it bites out with uh, its enormous uh, mouth filled with jagged teeth at one of the uh, uh, bionoids, and that is a hit. That's a memory you don't want to keep with you. How large does a poison radius when it happens? At 40 feet? Yeah, about 40 feet. Oh, it's a poison? No, gas, acid, noxious uh, fumes. 
I was like, am I immune to it? I won't know until I get in there. It's caustic. Yeah. Yeah, caustic. I got that. All right. It uh, chomps down on this one right there and uh, tears it apart, gobbling up uh, little bits. So one bionoid is dead. Do we see it move out? Uh, no, it was too fast. It was too fast. Um, oh, and uh, Lev, I just saw your, uh, your message. Um, you do not have uh, the ability to cast from that book. Didn't bring In the dream. I don't? He? Nope. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Did you bring Livy? Uh... No, you didn't choose it as one of the uh, uh, items. Yeah, okay. In that case, no. No. Oh, well. Okay, so that is two hits on the other ones. So the uh, the pseudopods have much smaller mouths than the uh, main one. Uh, so that's actually uh, a little bit more uh, survivable. 13 points on that one, and then... This is like a crossbreed between like an Argos and something. 12 points of damage on the other one. Uh, it, it's an Eldritch Horror. This is, this is most definitely an Eldritch Horror. It misses the other two uh, Bionoids. All right. Um, so let's see. Ocker, uh, you took the potion. Um, Braxen, you get a second attack. Yep. Been waiting for it. Oh, I got a move. Yeah, you got a move. Bump. Oh. You got this. Trying to move a little bit. There we go. Uh, put yourself just in the square. It's fine. Okay. You don't. You don't need to edge up against the uh, the border. It's <laughs> fine. I'm, I might have hit. Right. Let's not roll. Let's not roll d88 plus 5. Alright, 10 points of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chop into five back. rubbery uh, hide. Question, old. Mm -hmm. It's so big that uh, you don't really have to worry about hitting other switch spells. Correct. Well, I mean, uh, it depends on the spell. Can you try to target specific part of it with spell? Uh, depends on the spell and depends on the... Uh, body part for example uh, with the fireball uh not really i mean it's just a giant a giant thing and it's moving around constantly so so can't target fireball in its uh, eyes not specifically no did you throw a fireball in its mouth not specifically no no oh, my cold fireball <laughs> all right when it attacks no one else having uh, extra attacks, so go ahead and uh, roll some initiative. Mm. And I'll roll Balfay as well. Yep. Okay, what? I don't know whether Braxton would be worse off dual wielding. Damage X. enhanced, cool. Could I? Mm. Yeah. Laughful. Uh, I don't want to... Because I've been standing still and casting a spell, could I have muttered something to Lover? Or was yeah, that that's too fine. much? that's fine. Alright, then I will say, hold me. Oh. Oh. As I cast a <laughs> spell. So she I hugs mean, you. Well, not literally a hug, just... <laughs> Grab me somewhere so I know where where is you basically. L L Lapdel needs emotional support. Oh, can't, she, <laughs> can't she hold your hand? That and would ruin it? my spell. Don't ruin the spell that's going to heal you. <laughs> so she's actually. Uh... Just grab my arm or something or shoulder. All right, she grabs your shoulder, looks deep into your eyes, 
No, I rolled a 15. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, did that update because I rolled that as a GM thing. I wasn't meant to do that. Yeah. This was a touching moment. All right. I will roll that as a Anyone still need to roll initiative? And I got... What's the four? Is that armor? Oh, accuracy. Well, that might help, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not you're not in melee. Yeah, but so she's need... mirror right. image. But you're not in melee. You don't need to roll to attack. Well, how do I know which one I'm healing? Because they're illusions. So I can't see through the illusions. Right, that's but... That's why I told her to yes, touch Yes, yes, I understand. So I but that's, that's the thing, is, like, you're, you're not in combat, so it's very easy for uh, her to indicate which one is the real one. So... Oh, well. It's fine. Leva sort of points to herself, saying, "This is me." Yeah, exactly. In, in a chaotic uh, uh, melee situation where she or you were in melee, then yeah, you would need to uh, still roll an attack, and you might hit the, the mirror image. But you're not in melee, so it's question. Fine. Yeah. If Leva were to say kick the dirt uh, in a way that. Uh... I was visible, uh, the images wouldn't kick the dirt uh, in that. Yes, I would. Uh, but would the dirt it move? Would create, uh, it would create image, uh, illusions of the dirt. Okay. All right, Solus, your turn. Yeah, it's fireball time. Okay. Luckily, uh, it's so big, you don't have to risk hitting any of us. No, we might see. Solus, Leva looks around to Solus. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Just look for the glowing orb. <laughs> All right, let's roll a some more damage. Yep. All right, so your uh, fireball uh, explodes uh, on its uh, wet, uh, fleshy surface. Uh, it does make it saving throw, though. Well, at least some of its surface uh, sizzled a bit. Uh, oh, also. Uh, I forgot to mention. Give me just a second. So there is a uh, kind of a sucking sound uh, on its uh, side, and a new twenty-foot tall uh, creature uh, leaps forth from uh, from a temporary oh, orifice. Oh, yeah. it spawns them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Braxton, you're yeah. Okay. Um, Braxton's going to take a pop at Mummy Marauder. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't know where my dice went. Rolled off the table. Um, Thaco is 11, so I'm not sure if that's a hit. Uh, that is a hit. Oh, wait, Yay. wait, 11. Uh... Yeah. No, that's a miss. Okay. Um, you chop at it with your, uh, with your axe, but uh, you get a, a fleshy fold, and uh, you just feel it bounce back uh, at an odd angle. Uh, Ocker, your turn. Okay. I'm going to uh, move in. Okay. I'm going to slash it with my sword. And I'm getting a uh, extra plus four bonus from my 22 strength right now. My Thacko is... Uh, my Thacko with this weapon is eight. That's a miss. You're not able to penetrate with that blow. All right, the elves are uh, continuing to uh, fire arrows, and they do manage to kill this other uh, uh, tertiary, tertiary marauder uh, to the uh, south. Or uh, secondary, I should say. And uh, this 20-foot uh, uh, tall one, uh, a secondary marauder, uh, it lifts its arms, and two more of the small ones spawn forth from it. Lovely. 
and they rush to attack as uh, a couple more are coming down from the north as well. There we go. One of them is rushing around the uh, other way. They're in a family gathering. This one comes down to attack Ocker. And that is going to be one hit. Slashes at you for seven points of damage, Ocker. Okay. And these Sold and bolt. two are coming in wow. close to you. They haven't quite gotten to you, though. Didn't have the movement <laughs> to uh, uh, move and attack. Oops. Uh, and, um, yes. Leva, your turn. Bra brave laughter will defend you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're going to protect me, laughter, aren't you? Leva's going to. Well, well, Leva cast the magic missile on this one. <laughs> on which one? On the big one. Okay. She All right. You got your uh, full uh, complement of. Uh, Missiles, all five. Just, ooh, I got the sun in my eyes, sorry. Uh, That's okay, and Ocker has uh, given himself a re-roll. Very nice. There we go. That should work. Always slipping uh, that fiver under the table. <laughs> I mean... I'm bribable, you know. Oh, I feel like I need two, it. Four, I need six, it. Six, nine, eleven. 11. Alright, your missiles streak out of your fingers, slam into it for eleven points of damage. Alright, Velthiad is uh, calling out more orders and mm. looses an arrow. And that's a miss. Okay, uh, the. Uh, giant slug thing releases more poisonous caustic gas all around and that is going to be there's my other die there it is all right uh braxton 10 points of damage ocker two points of damage oh i took less damage <clears throat> ouch it's a dice roll. Yeah. And then I'll just roll once for all of the uh, bionoids. Okay. There we go. There we it's go. Slug chopping time. This time, don't try to go and chop it. Uh, chop it uh, from the inner side. <laughs> I don't think Braxton got eaten by one of these last time. You have not encountered one yeah, of these. Yeah, but one of these. We don't the... The... We even carried a normal, like one of the this size marauders, not a this size marauder. Yeah, but uh, I was referring to you trying to kill that uh, shambling mound uh, from the inside. And um... Anghamrand has uh, just given everyone uh, except me. <laughs> Except me. Oh, <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Ang Cameron. Thank you, Ang Cameron. Which is uh, which is handy. <laughs> Thank you, know? you very much. Um, I, I like the resentful. Except me. No, no, it wasn't resentful. It was it was teary eyed, sad. I'm so yeah, sad. It was resentful. Sad. All right. So the uh, um, uh, the giant slug thing is going to be uh, trying to bite another. Uh, uh, with its primary large, massive uh, maw. It's going to be uh, biting at another one of the uh, bionoids. And that is a hit. Uh, I'm sure that the uh, that this attack will come uh, one of your way uh, one of these days, so be prepared. Hmm. I think one person used their temporary... 30 points of damage. Oh. Yeah, like I said, be prepared. 
And I mean. then it is attacking uh, the other ones with its smaller mouths. Let's see. <laughs> uh, well, that bionoid down there is dead. Yeah, that would be it. That would have been a great die roll for uh, uh, character generation. Uh, oh, it's like three d six. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that was an eighteen or seventeen to be a great roll for character generation. Oh, it was an eighteen. It was eighteen. And 14 on that one, and then... And there's a pathetic roll of a 6. <laughs> but that is actually enough to kill uh, the Bionoid next to you, Ocker. And... Then... Uh, there's one more Bionoid up near you guys, and that is a hit. Thirteen points of damage, and now an attack coming towards Ocker. Uh, that is a hit for ten points of damage, Ocker. Okay. And a hit on Braxton. Let's see. Uh, that is a hit. For 13 points of damage, Braxton. This hit me again. Send out Pegasus fingers. Gonna argo you to death. It has it points. has uh, uh, six uh, small pseudopods uh, that can basically sprout from anywhere on its body that have mouths that chomp at you, and it also has that uh, uh, poisonous gas that it can expel. Okay. Uh, Finn, your so turn. I guess I'm guess I'm lucky. It only attacked me with one of them. Yeah, well, I mean, it spreads out. It's best to spread out its attacks. It, it can't really concentrate them all in one place, anyway. Alright, Finn's firing a fire arrow at it. Okay. And my Thacko is 60. And that's a miss. Um, your arrow uh, hits its... Uh, um, rubbery fleshy hide but uh it's kind of uh slippery and slimy and that puts out the fire before it can do anything uh then the remaining bionoids let's see this one is coming up here to attack that one uh, and that is just going to easily kill that thing all right next one attacking the marauder All right, those are all misses. That one steps up next to you, uh, Braxton. And misses. And that is one hit for three points of damage. And then the other one. And he gets one hit for eight points of damage. There we go. Laftal, your turn. Uh, he's casting Cure Serious on level. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, Lava healed for nine hit points. Okay, uh, secondary marauder is attacking the spirit warrior that uh, came in. That's 
three hits there. Uh, four hits. That's not good. Uh, and that is going to be... All right, 20 points of damage on the Spirit Warrior. That Spirit Warrior is not having a fun time. No, no, it is not. It is not. All right, so this is just uh, repositioning a little bit because it uh, spawned some uh, tertiary ones. Uh, but it does look like it's going to come over towards uh, your way, Laftal and uh, Leva. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be meleeing. And there is the sound of a, another spirit warrior joining the fray. It's like the courier. They arrive one at a time. Uh, lands right next to you, uh, Finn. And it looks like it's uh, going to be advancing up uh, towards the... Uh, uh, the Marauder. And the other one is attacking the Tertiary Marauder, and he does get one hit. Actually, that's the wrong dice. Sixteen points of damage. All right. Uh, anyone getting uh, second attacks? No. Uh, I, I get extra attacks. Okay. And I think, Bryson, do you get one too? No, I'm I'm alternating with you, so you're getting them and I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to use my reroll for this. Okay. I'll go. I guess I'll go for the eleven, but that still won't hit. Uh, yes, that is a miss. All right. Uh, so it is about time to uh, take our break. Uh, as you have this giant slug creature uh, that is uh, causing a lot of uh, harm. Um, and uh, really chewing through uh, your side of, uh, of allies. Can you keep hmm. uh, Veltiat alive? On the we'll see. upside, uh, it hasn't gotten down to him yet. Uh-huh. But uh, we will see in about 10 minutes. So a good time to uh, stretch your legs, get something to drink, and we will be back in about 10 minutes, everyone. See you shortly. See you on we'll the other see side. See you then. Yeah.